Hello. Hello. Am I speaking with Professor Parisi? Yes, I'm Dr. Parisi. Hello. My name is Adam Smith. I'm calling from the website of the Nobel Prize. Many congratulations on the award of the Nobel Thank Prize. Thank you. Very, you are very kind. Of course, there has been speculation that you might be in the running for a Nobel Prize for some years. How does it feel to be awarded the prize? Well, uh, let's say that I'm very happy for, for also because it's a recognition of the importance of the field on which I have been worked for so many times and that I have uh, uh, been uh, mm, developed because I was one of the founders of the uh, of the study of complex system in physics. So I'm very happy that all this uh, lifelong work has been recognized not only by other prizes, but also by the Nobel Prize. Yes, indeed. Um, you work on such a variety of problems, from quantum chromodynamics to the movement of flocks of birds. What is it about a particular problem that attracts you? Well, uh, Things that, uh, well, my my mentor, Nicola Cabibbo, say, uh, was usually saying that we should work on a problem only if work on the problem is fun. <laughs> so, it, I mean, fun is not very clear what it means, but it's something that we find deeply interesting and that we strongly believe that it is... Uh, uh, I mean, that you, one finds fun in work on it because one gets a new idea, something unexpected and so on. So I try to work on something that was interesting and on which I believe that they have some capacity to add something. And do you choose problems that are seemingly almost impossible? How hard should the problem be? <laughs> Look, the problem may be relatively simple, but maybe, I mean, not impossible, but very hard, extremely hard to, to study. And we really don't, we are not able for the moment to understand precisely. But I mean, there are very, very simple problems that are very hard to understand. Mm. And this award really highlights the importance of the fundamental science behind understanding climate change. Um, yes, that, that's correct, because uh, fundamental science is, is crucial. Mm. It's crucial for understanding everything, and we do not uh, um, go too, too much towards the, uh, only... Uh, Applied science, but it's important that applied science and fundamental science go together, because uh, many times the the application from from fundamental science uh, to applied science to uh, uh, application uh, something useful for humanity comes in some unexpected way from uh, your science. Do you think that, in general, people understand that, or does it need to be reinforced? I think that usually people do understand, but sometimes at the moment where tech decisions have been taken by the government, there are sometimes some government, not some other not, but some government usually forget. I mean, there are some countries like South Korea that spends. A uh, uh, high percentage of money of fundamental science. science. Italy is a very low level, <laughs> but I hope uh, I'm confident that in the future this thing is, is going to change. But let's, uh, let's see what happens. <laughs> I suppose one thing that will change a little bit is your life for the next little while, because the Nobel Prize brings a lot of attention and people call you all the time. I mean, you had a lot of attention already, but this will just increase it. How do you feel about that and the disruption? Well, I think, I think that, well, uh, I hope that it's not going to change too much my life. Of course, I have to spend 
Uh, I feel that it will take me a few days to answer to the old uh, phone call that I had today, but uh, it is important that to have um, that the people that are going at the end to pay the bill for science have some understanding of what the science is going on. Mm. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you very much indeed. It's such a pleasure to speak to you. Once again, many, many congratulations. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this moment, you might also like this special edition of the Nobel Prize Conversations podcast. Adam Smith takes a turn as guest and recalls his favourite moments from these very special calls.